Today, you join me in my living room for a little side quest, so to speak. That being the question that literally nobody has asked. Can you charge a phone using a tool battery? Well, let's try and find out. So I was going through my useless junk, as you do when you have a hobby, and I wanted to see if I could maybe transform it into useful junk. So we got one of my tool battery here, uh, a Makita, not sponsored by them, but you know, gotta start with a tool battery. The old banana phone, that'll come back a little bit later. Uh, and I have one of these, uh, these little adapter guys for a car cigarette lighter, and allegedly they take uh, 12 to 24 volts as input. So we're gonna test that out, and we're gonna get this running off of this. So, uh, and I'm gonna do that by basically cutting and splicing these, uh, this little splitter I have for cigarette lighters. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I need some tools, of course. Gonna reach for the old wire stripper that doubles as a wire cutter, and we're just gonna snip these wires right here. We're not gonna need well, one of these, I suppose. I guess I could make two, but we'll start with one for now, see if it even works. I'm gonna split these two guys open. You might need a little bit of help for that. split open and I believe these are 16 gauge so let us quickly strip away a little bit of this surprisingly thick insulation. The insulation is way thicker than the wire running on the inside which is curious but nonetheless. Let's strip this one as well. Not that much how to do. All right, cool. Gonna twist these little guys up, and I am gonna fit some spade connectors to them because I believe that is what is gonna be simplest to achieve. So, here I've got some insulated spade connectors. I'm gonna grab one red one and one blue one. We're going to pretend like we have a standard here, and what we're doing is ISO certified. And I'll also take my wire crimper, I believe. No, these are the wrong jaws, so I'll take these jaws out. These are heat shrink jaws. We need the insulated terminal jaws. fit that on here. I will need to strip off more of this wire just because my insulator terminals don't get quite on there. Which is very unfortunate, but you know, we do what we can with the junk that we have. So let's see how this works now. I think these are indeed 16 gauge. And I actually think my terminals are too small, but that is now making a positive contact. Great. So, we're going to crimp this guy here. Uh, wrong side, I got to flip my jaws around. Crimping. Good enough for government work. Next one. Great. So I suppose this is the moment of truth. Uh, it'll either work or we'll let the magic smoke out. Let's see what happens. So the old negative to the negative, the old positive to the positive. 
make sure that's got a decent connection. Plug that in there. LEDs turned on for the charger, which is a good sign. I'll plug in a USB cable. And finally, at the risk of frying my phone, if this doesn't work, connect the banana phone and let's see what happens. <laughs> it's not fast charging, but that might just be a problem of needing to unplug it and plug it back in. It doesn't want a fast charge, which is odd. I do believe this plug is able to fast charge. It's weird that it's not requesting a fast charge, but let's see if we can solve that somehow. Perhaps this guy doesn't like what I'm doing with it too much. I think I've got a USB-C one as well. All right, let's go for USB-C and we'll see if that's any better. Plug that in. That's twist tied together for some reason. As if we don't need USB-C cables in this day and age anymore or something. All right. Plug that end in there and this end in here. Hey, it's fast charging. Great. One hour, 19 minutes until full, according to my telefoot. So I guess the USB-A charger doesn't like this setup all that well. However, the USB-C charger uh, certainly does. I mean, maybe this doesn't output enough. I should fast charge my phone. 12 volt, 1.5 amps. I think that's right. Well, regardless. All I can say is the USB-A charger doesn't like it, but the USB-C charger does fast charge my phone. Let's see if the, I don't know, the camera won't pick this up. But yeah, fast charging. That's pretty cool. And there you have it. Um, you can absolutely charge a phone using a tool battery. Here, let me move this setup over here. There's the tool battery. And here's my phone being charged. Let's plug that in, plug that back in just to show you that I ain't lying. This is in some YouTube channel that spews lies. There you go, fast charging. Awesome. So yeah, uh, it does work, uh, provided I guess your charger is happy with the setup, but you absolutely can charge a phone with a tool battery, and I cannot wait to never use this again. Thanks for watching.